Hallo Klaus. Hallo Robert. Hallo Audience. Hallo. This is uh, Fun with Relux episode 16. And today it's about the, yeah, let's say, visualization uh, of what we have in Relux. Visualization in terms of red tracing, uh, animation, and uh, everything with materials to, to make your scenery looking nice and um, yeah and yeah so we have today more to to show more to demonstrate uh, so it's a bit of more hands-on less theoretical and yeah and this is a building on on uh, what we have on the what we had on the last uh, episode last episode we had about uh, 3d models 3D modeling models. And now we need to paint our 3D models, models or to glue some textures on it uh, and to make a shooting of this. And yeah. then we have some kind of 3D result in a way. Yeah, that's the topic today. Did I miss something? No, yeah. everything is is covered. Oh, the only thing in, in Relux, it is a little bit, uh, we have two levels of materials. So in, in the, mm -hmm. the standard uh, calculation or in the standard planning, uh, we are working with a ray tracing calculation kernel. For that, we just need diffuse materials. So at, le at least only the, 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 the reflection degree is important. But for visualization and for more realistic uh, look in, in your project, it may be helpful um, to get to work with more complex um, materials and maybe with our ray tracing calculation kernel. Here at that point, it will be becomes very uh, interesting to use uh, complex materials and we hope we can give you a little bit and mm -hmm. an, an look inside of, of the possibilities of ray looks. I guess many of these are not really new things. We have mm -hmm. this since years and mm -hmm. but maybe I guess some of you are new. Maybe some of you have forget forgot one or the other thing mm. or the, one or the other possibility. Mm. And so um, well, we will start with the presentation and uh, try to show you yeah. about these things. Yeah, it's it's really important to to have in mind that we have uh, two calculation cores. The the one you uh, in daily use uh, or which is uh, really often use is the radiosity. Radiosity works with perfect diffuse surfaces, so there is no reflection, no mirror effects, nothing. Uh, and this, this is providing fast uh, uh, results uh, for illumination and luminance and whatever. But we have also a second calculation core, um, which needs other materials and have other possibilities in visualization. Okay, um, I will start here with our standard interior room. When you start, when you create a new project, you will get um, default materials. Um, or default colors and default re reflection decrees when you jump into this, this point. These are really simple at the moment. You have the possibility to change these default materials. We have now here our floor, which is um, this a little bit blue type of 20 degrees and um, and um, but you have the possibility to change this default behavior by going to here to the, to the back page and then to settings. And there you will have default values and there we have materials. Here at that point, you can change the default values and the default reflection decrease for your standard projects when you go into the program and start with a new project mm -hmm. or with a new scene. Yeah, reflection degree and color. Both yeah. of this you can adjust here once forever for the new created rooms. Okay, and um, when we are now here in our project, and here, for example, I will start with the floor. We have here this kind of controls to change the color or the reflection degree. This gives you the once the possibility, the most, um, it's a little bit hard, just to type a reflection degree. I will change it, for example, to to 30. This is so really fast without any dialogue or anything else, just to changing the reflection degree. And by pressing the button with the three uh, the three dots, we will jump in our um, simple, or let's say relative simple um, color selection uh, dialog. And here we have various possibilities um, to change the color, uh, the diffuse color of a material, of a, of a surface or of a material, um, and the, the reflection degree. Um, you can change here the, 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 um, 
the color by here and you will also see here that the reflection uh, the, the row value which is at least here the scaling on on this last bar the, the brightness of this color so if i reduce it um it will jump here in the tiger area or if i grow it we will have a, a brighter kind of blue so we have also here in this dialog the possibility to choose by palette simply clicking on the values to get to get uh, um, the color we want but we have also the possibility here to uh, to use to work with the spectral um, with the spectral uh, curve we have also the possibility to change it manually if this is if this is if this is needed mm -hmm. and i guess for many many project the most helpful thing is here to use the this ral color tab and here you have the possibility to choose from from various color um, ral tables and choose by the by the ral um, uh, uh, value the, the 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 color you want mm -hmm. This uh, color system is uh, popular in, in Central Europe. Um, here we have in, in four digits uh, color code uh, for colors. This is popular in the industry. If you have an, an cover and coating on, on machines or even on luminars, you have a wall color, but you can also use uh, it for, for room colors, for paintings and so on. And these uh, colors are fixed uh, also with a with an brightness uh, um, degree. Uh, so this is... Uh, you can directly connect this uh, to a uh, reflection degree. Um, yes, we have here also um, the RDS system. And uh, also to, to, tomorrow we must say, Robert and I must say, uh, we don't know what it is. <laughs> we discovered it today that we have also an, another color system called RDS. There are, of, of course, there are a lot of more color systems out there. Uh, it may be important to know is, or important to keep in mind that we that Relux has the possibility to um, uh, to calculate out of a color the reflection degree, and the reflection degree is everything which we need uh, for the for the calculation in Relux. So the reflection degree is the most important point on the color. So if it's low, less uh, light will be reflected into the room back from the surfaces, and if it's high, a lot of light will be reflected back into the room, and makes you a better uniformity and also an overall more bright scene. Okay, um, so this is the, the easiest way to, to, to change the color and the reflection degree of a room. Uh, by the way, in, at this position, I guess sometimes uh, you will wondering when you are clicking on the floor, you have an interior face and you have an exterior face. And I guess sometimes you will wonder what is what is an exterior face? Why I don't, when I change here the color, for example, to, to something like green, you will not see it. So where is it? Uh, and you will find it here when you go to, I press the escape button, uh, when we change to the exterior view, we will now see our scene, our room from outside, and there you will now see um, the screen area. This may be important when you make daylight calculations, so I will let me enter a, a window. And now when we look inside, we will now, looking through the window, we will see the interior floor and from outside the exterior floor as well when we go inside to the scene we can look take a look outside uh, to the outer area and we will see the screen um, floor from outside this may be important if you make daylight calculation it is not important for um, yeah. interior calculation but, but also this outdoor surface has an impact uh, to the inside light in terms of daylight so the daylight will be reflected in the screen uh, with this reflection uh, behaves and will also go into the room by the window so this has also an impact if it's more bright the color outside then have more light falling inside so similar to all the other room phases for the example for the the, the, the styling for example um, let's make something blue to change it here. I switch back to our um, interior view. Um, and we will talk more about um, the, the, the possibilities to 
put colors um, on, on uh, surfaces. Um, the dialogue or the, the material dialogue, we will see it here. We will, we will find it similar on, for example, when you place a cube. Um, we will find here, here are the properties and here is the material button. And for the cube, it is interest or important to say that we have the possibility to choose um, the color here in the, in the top line. When I change it here, I will get um, the complete, the complete um, cube is, uh, is used by this color. But I have also the possibility to change uh, separate, uh, several, um, the, the, uh, each surface separately and, and give them a different color if I need this. If we are working with 3D objects, let me place a, a something, a, a 3D object here. This is a, this is here a, a kind of chair, a kind of chair, a kind of, uh, sorry, a seat, a seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here the, these objects are splitted in part objects. So if I click in here and I click, uh, here on the material, we will see we have here, and this is uh, split it into two partitional objects, and each partitional object has its own uh, material, and I can change it in the same way as um, we have done this by the by the floor or by the um, cube. Mm -hmm. um, now, this is the simplest way to, to get materials and colors, and the next, or a little bit more, um, well, we have much more possibilities when you go to, from the ribbon insert to the materials. And here we have to add, here we will, we will see a list of our actual used materials in our scene. And we have here the button add to, to add additional materials inside um, of, uh, into our project. Mm -hmm. And here we have in, in the top, we have this symbol. The symbol gives us also the possibility to access to this material to this color selection dialog and uh, but it gives us also the possibility to select pictures for our own texture textures we will take later a look on it mm -hmm. and we have here in the in the uh, upper part and down here downwards the, the ray tracer materials we will also talk later a little bit more about the possibilities of these ray tracing materials mm -hmm. Um, for standard project now, the most important thing is this texture library. It gives you access to various pre-preparated um, uh, textures of various materials like wood, stone, or tiles. I will now choose for my, my project here, tiles. And once that I have uh, selected a material, I can simply click on it and can drop it by a click for example, here to my um, to, the floor. to the floor. If I want to use this um, now for my cube, for example, for this blue on the top, it is not possible to to to, uh, to click it by a by a click. In this case, I have to click to the material and mm -hmm. select it separately. Here, um, choose my tiles here. Um, for it, that. it is possible to click, but then the complete cube yes. will get this material and not just a single surface. So clicking on object make the complete object uh, with this uh, with this material you have on the on the cursor. Uh, if you want to have select single <clears throat> surfaces, you need to go by the properties and do the material section. If I click here now on it, the complete cube will be have this materials. Mm -hmm. um, this texture material. Um, you have the possibility, once you have added it, you have also the possibility to modify it. Um, by clicking it here, we have here various settings. The specularity and roughness will all be always, uh, it will only used in the ray tracing calculation. But you have here, for uh, when you go to um, edit, the possibility to change um, uh, the color settings of this uh, texture. And also important to have here the possibility to change the scaling by clicking in the picture. And selecting a, a, a length, I have now chosen the complete length of my, of my uh, tile. And I can now define which length should this now have. For in my example, I will use 0 0.4 meter 
And if I now close, it will be used in, in this size of um, in the project. A variant of the possibility to use uh, pictures as textures is um, is, a, is a special thing. And this is, um, I will now go back to my, uh, sorry, to the material and add a new one. And I will now use here from the simple dialogue the possibility to choose my own picture. Mm -hmm. And I will now use this this picture of an jumping squirrel. Squirrel, you know, yes, that's the question. <laughs> the name I used. And the most thing, the, the important thing I would now show, we have here also this possibility of uh, of the color settings. And and here is now the really important thing. Not to make a scale, um, press this button scale to, to fit object size. Now the picture will be used when I put it on a surface, it will be used on the complete surface. Let me choose the picture and I have here prepared a face as a, as a kind of a picture with a, with, a, with a kind of frame. And then I can click it here and we will see it here on the complete um face of this picture right if i put this if i put this here on the wall i will have the picture here completely on the wall so it's some kind of uh auto fit uh to to, to so faces uh, the size of the so faces is the scale of the picture automatically this is quite useful in uh, for a lot of situations in many situations, mm. for, for simple situations, like I have done it with this picture on the wall, but it is also important when you, for example, when you're working in exterior scenes, you can use cubes and put pictures of buildings just as a texture on, on the surface of, of the cube to have a, mm -hmm. a little bit more realistic view in your exterior scenes. Mm -hmm. And here, just to, to, to repeat this a little bit, then if we go here and forgot this, um, when we go here to the edit, and when we forgot to set this scale to fit to objects option here, then we will get receive the picture as a typically as a texture works in, in, in case in tiles yeah. in tiles. This is the manually scale, and now you can also scale manually to make it. Right, uh, bigger or, or smaller, depending on what you have uh, in in the scale option. Okay, and now um, as the next step, uh, we I will show you the possibility, or then when we go to the um, uh, ray tracing materials, mm -hmm. um, I have here prepared a small project, and um, this is a small scene just a room um, with uh, and i have here three uh, two walls and, and the floor which are i have already added uh, materials and what we don't see here um, it looks in the uncalculated version that it is just a diffuse material here we have a normal normal texture but in the background of these materials we have ray tracing materials and when we take a look to these ray tracing materials, um, we have here, there's, it's already open here, for example, I've already used this uh, one of this terracotta um, or one of these tiles. And when we click here on this, we will have here much more possibilities. For example, if we take a look to these tiles, which I have only the the texture, we have just only two options, the specularity and the roughness to set. But when we use this kind of um, ray tracing materials, um, then we have much more possibilities of, of kind of settings and um, the, the rotation, the, the, the size of the, um, the distance between the tiles, the, the deepness and, and many things. And we have here also the possibility, this is for later here, to add um, when we, for example, go for um, uh, the, the class materials. Here we have the possibility, for example, not only use clear class, we have also the possibility, for example, to use structured class or milky class or something like that. Mm -hmm. 
And um, I can, we will later take a deeper look inside of um, these possibilities. And when we now go uh, to here and we take now a look to the later to the calculated version, you will now see what's happened when you use these materials in your project. Um, I guess in the here in this simple example, it's a little bit hard to see the, the, the mirroring of the floor of these tiles, and the, but you will also have here the possibilities to see uh, the, the deepness in the in, in, in the bricks. Mm -hmm. um, you can just see this ray tracing material in a, in a red raised situation. So this is the big difference. Um, so it's really about just the, for the red racer. So the materials can just be used by, by our red racing engine, which uh, is um, yeah, in a way in a, in a, in a, in a secondary uh, usage uh, right now. That's more for visualizations, for having more effects like mirroring, um, and then and, and also uh, trans transmission options. So you can look through glass and through water and so on just by ray tracing. We so want to show you here uh, some uh, some uh, uh, renderings, already made renderings with these materials. In um, So this project is just created in, in, in Relux. And you will now here see the possibility of the of the mirroring of the mirror effects in the glass. So the, this, this table is a glass material. Um, this, uh, this piece of art on the table is, uh, is a kind of metal, which is also have material uh, uh, mirroring effects. You see the mirroring effects here in the glass of, this, um, of these mm -hmm. doors and also here on, on, on the left side. Mm -hmm. Also here, one other, possibility we will here now see also an, 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 an rendering with the material water which gives a little bit more a uh, realistic um, kind of uh, feel of the yeah. of the of, of it water. looks more realistic to have more this water with this material and uh, as, we, as, as we said we have uh, mirroring we have reflectance we have transmission through the through these materials this is uh, a way more complex uh, to have these materials it's also possible to um, yeah to adjust uh, by yourself this material. So it's not you're not bounded to this uh, list we have in our uh, material editor. You can also create your own materials based on um, these properties of these materials. But this is a, a way uh, of 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 a, of a complex uh, job to to find your best representation of these materials. Yeah. Also a point important to, to remember uh, when you are working with this ray tracing scenes, um, you have in the ray curiosity, you have the possibility to rotate your view and take a look because it's diffuse reflection for the ray tracing. You have to, to make for each view a separate um, calculation. And when we now take a look to this ray tracing settings, we have here um, the possibilities to have views in, in, in my, situation I have only one view but I can also add more view and change the direction change the, the, the viewport mm -hmm. and store yeah. and, and then you will calculate yeah. multiple views uh, at once this is a big difference in radiosity we calculate the complete scene uh, just with perfect diffuse materials uh, just different color and the reflection degree so we can move around the scenery in a calculation situation in the red tracing for wet tracing, it's really important to have an observer on it. So the observer, the view is fixed. You cannot move around and see these effects. We uh, render, we wet traced a situation to a specific observer, to a specific eye uh, with a specific viewing direction. This means this, this image just looks quite nice and uh, all the material effects are also uh, uh, quite, quite interesting and fancy. But you have just one view angle. Of course, you can add a lot of view angles in the calculation. But of course, it also takes um, the, the more time to calculate more uh, visualizations. And this you have to be uh, aware of. This is uh, a nice visualization, but it's not an, uh, the, the best. Um, let's say the the best uh, analyzing mode to 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 see around the the, uh, the room what happens in which corner. It's just one fixed image. But these ray tracing materials gives you also another very uh, powerful tool in the hand, not only for the visualization, also for the light calculation inside mm -hmm. of interior scenes. Um, by using here um, this option, calculating measuring areas, you will have also the possibility to, to simulate uh, very complex scenes. And for example, 
I have prepared here one. Let me show it yeah. to you. Our wet tracing is not just for visualization. We can also do lighting calculations. We get illumination, uh, illu uh, yeah, illumination results out of it. Um, and you have really, you can also take measuring areas uh, into rooms, and you can also calculate uh, the light uh, for horizontal um, illuminance uh, with it. Uh, it's also a nice cool, a tool course. Uh, then you can use uh, the the positive uh, things we have with um, uh, with the red tracing that we have uh, and, and transmission and reflectance of materials. This means you can calculate uh, glass mirror and also translucent uh, situations uh, in Relux by using the red tracing uh, calculation core. This is impossible with the, with the radiosity. Radiosity just makes you uh, a single surfaces with uh, one uh, diffuse. Uh, um, yeah, just uh, there's no transmission to it. But with ray tracing, we have uh, the, the option to calculate transmissions. Here, that with this example, we have some kind of milky glass uh, on the ceiling uh, to uh, to calculate and yeah, and, and, and light ceiling and and yeah, and top so, floor. Mm -hmm. And here we will now see the difference. This is the radiosity calculation, and this face here has has the material um, milky glass, um, but in the ray trace, uh, in the uh, radiosity. radiosity, you will see there is no light because it can, cannot have, be handled here in, in uh, by the ray tracing, uh, by the radiosity kernel. But if I use this in the in the um, in the ray tracing kernel, it can handle this milky glass inside of the scene, and so we can simulate this kind of suspended siling mm -hmm. with a with a milky glass material. This must make also. Um, Including the results, and including the results, we can also take a look here to um, to our illuminance values and uh, um, in also, the scene. Yeah, also reflections. If you have a mirror, you will see and and spot also on the calculation grid uh, where you have this mirror effects. Uh, if you have a sheet of metal in the room, this is in some situations quite useful to evaluate different materials in the room which has an effect uh, on the lighting situation. It's a bit of seldom, I have to say. It's uh, I personally not use it quite often uh, when you have a mirror which you want to have to include it in the calculation. But here, this example is quite good with this uh, milky glass. If you have in, in, in light ceiling in a room, and if you if you have material information uh, of transmissions and so on, uh, on on the roughness, then you really can um, um, calculate and examine uh, the different materials uh, for the ceiling. And you get results in uniformity and in, in, in illumination levels. So this is this is quite great. It's also one of the USPs of your Relux. Yeah. Yep. Yes, this really really a great feature and, and tool. So I guess this was the point. We are a little bit. I have a little bit to to hurry up. We are a little bit late. Yep. Uh, and we were uh, at last. Um, so this is everything about materials at the moment, I guess. And ray tracing. Mm -hmm. And ray tracing. <laughs> but we have also here, we want to show you as, as a last point, also the possibility, what which is available uh, since some years in Relux to add animations in, um, in, in your scene, uh, simply by clicking on, uh, uh, on this button animation, you will get an object in the scene bar, which is an, uh, it's an animation object. And you can add here by clicking the plus camera camera positions and the in, one. In, 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 in various in various angles, and then later you will have here the the, the possibility. So, so this is really it's just it will let me switch. To, you can make an animation to 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 walk through your scene. Mm. Um, I will show you here in a more realistic or in a, in a creative yeah. project. We have here uh, an exterior. So with, in, yeah. in, in, in short, you have to set uh, with your with your current camera situation. You have to set points uh, on this animation bar. So you start with the with the first point, then you move to camera with your current uh, view uh, angle, and then you uh, um, um, uh, create another camera pathway point and with the with the lot of points you can make a camera pathway through your situation indoor outdoor whatever and then you can have something like this uh, a bit of, of fast but you can also adjust the speed the, of the it speed. Uh, the, 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 you have a lot of settings about the, how many frames you want to have 
you can of course calculate the situation and fly over and calculate it. Uh, situation. This is now uncalculated, so it looks like the the setting and not the real situation. situation. But this is yeah also possible to do this in the calculated in the calculation the calculated situation. Um, if you finish this, this is not maybe not the, the easiest way. It's it's quite straightforward, but you have to be quite concentrated in setting the camera path points um, and 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 for for this animation. And if you are finished with it, you can click on render. Uh, on the render, you have also a couple of options for, uh, yeah, for the for the output, for the compression, uh, for the format. So you can here choose if you want to, to to render the uncalculated or the luminance distribution, uh, which kind of style you to have, and you have the possibility to 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 choose your output format. A little bit careful if you use this uh, BMP option, then you will uh, for each. Um, picture and an uncompressed bmp so when when you want to want single pictures i recommend to use jpegs mm -hmm. otherwise here on the uh, on the, the video format you have in the options you will find all the coded c video coded c's which are installed on on your system this is from your system you cannot install it uh, via relux you have to install it on your windows system That's the codecs and then you can can use them to compress uh, your output right by uh, rendering this this, um, this animation and yeah be careful with resolution and so on it, it could take also a while to render this together and uh, depending on resolution and on calculation and so on um, then press start and you will render you will into the film yeah as you recommend is that to render uncompressed if you have enough space on your hard disk mm -hmm to render first an, an uncompressed um, video and compress it later with with a with, with yeah. third party tool so to be to be on yeah. the safe side about the quality yeah don't that you don't disturb your uh, destroy your, yeah. your quality by using uh, with the uh, with the compression yeah this is a recommendation but it's of course up to you it's faster to select directly and compressing away but um, if you be sure just do it in, in two steps first creation and then compressing compression it's a bit of outdated uh, it's an, an, an older tool we have in relux uh, this animation uh, we also find out by by um, by getting into it uh, in, in preparation for this episode that there's, there's a lot of things we could add oh. and could improve <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so uh, this was uh, not touched for years <laughs> and um, it feels also like it's not touched for years the, the basic functionality is working but we are also unsure if it's really this uh, big feature of, of relux if uh, if a lot of uh, users using this um, yeah um, maybe maybe uh, you you comment to us if you really like this feature if you do a lot of these animations um, uh, tell it tell it to us then, yes. then we might put some effort into it but we are really unsure if it's this top feature of relux yeah. but it's one yeah. feature and i guess yeah. it's and it's, it's good working. to remember that it is still existing yeah okay i guess um we are that's all what you want to show then that's, we can go to the questions that is what we show and we will take a look i'm sure we have I guess you have to, to track this out of this box. Yeah, there we are. It looks like we have questions. Just need to scroll up. Oh, okay, this question is in in Italian language. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry none sorry. of us two can can read and understand Italian language, but there is an a phone number. It looks like uh, there is a request for an for a direct contact. We will forward it to an to an colleague who who is able to speak Italian language. So, oh, the next one. This is quite long. This is a half of a book. Okay, let's try. Uh, I've noticed in the last update uh, the exterior for only mode. Uh, has been removed from for the luminance scene pseudo color can this be added back thanks okay we have to check if this if this is the case the exterior view mode 
the exterior view only mode. Yes. I'm uh, not aware you are aware of it. But we have removed in view. I'm not. We have to check this. We have we have to check this. We are not sure what uh, what is yes. about. Um, okay, second question out of this uh, stack. The color temperature option for luminars uh, looks a bit more saturated than real life. Uh, for example, 4000 kelvins looks more orange than it, it's in real life. Uh, warm bright is is there any way to reduce the saturation a bit uh, to reflect the real life cct okay did this, we have some options to yeah we have this is um, some light color stuff this, this is a point we haven't shown in the uh, in in our presentation now mm -hmm. this was the material the i look but we have also the possibility to change the light color and there we have the mm -hmm. um um, the possibility to set a light color by the color temperature and yeah okay and we should, should, should to correct this yeah. this is this is not so easy like it sounds as we, we have some some ways to edit uh, the color temperature uh, of the of the light uh, light outputs this is an, an option uh, which you can find on the luminars i guess somewhere didn't show we have we have we have thought about to to show this maybe uh, but we have not uh, found the the time uh, it was it today <laughs> yeah um and what is a more complex course, uh, you have to set, uh, you have a lot of settings uh, of colors uh, from, uh, not just from our application, you have also the, the monitor has a setting, uh, the, the system has a setting. So you have to run through a couple of settings to, to find the right uh, color representation. So this is a bit of an, of an own uh, uh, science uh, to, to get the right color out of your screen, which reflects real life. If you have the feeling that it's uh, uh, always a bit more over the top or a bit uh, below the top, then uh, of course it is possible to adjust in a way. But might that it's um, that it's then described in a, in a different way uh, from from what the color is. But uh, depends of you if you want just to have this uh, this uh, view of the right color. Okay, the, the third question of the stack is the object material selection panel also removed the rotation of texture, which was a function available a long time ago. This can be, can this be broke again, please? Um, for me, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not the, the oldest user. For me, it was never in it. it was yes, in time. I'm, where, I'm, I, I do also not remember okay. at the moment. I will not say. It. I know that we have mm -hmm. the possibility for the, the radius, uh, ray tracing materials. They have the, the possibility to make the ro make rotations um, for the norm normal texture. I, I thought it was missing all the time. It's one mm -hmm. of our one of our on our feature list to to add this. Um, yeah. If you want to rotate your text uh, to texture, uh, you have to go into an um, picture uh, editing uh, application and to rotate it there and then to bring it back into Relux. So you need an external tool to adjust the picture and then you can have a rotation. But of course, this is, uh, this is um, a painful uh, journey uh, to do this. You need an extra application. This is on our, on our feature wish list to get uh, textures also rotated in the texture radiosity normal mode. To say um uh, then here uh, can we track and drop texture only for one selected surface and not for the whole cube um this is not possible by track and drop that is what what we want to show in in the presentation in this case you must click on the cube then go to the materials tab and then you select the surface by select the material from the from the drop from the yeah. um, the drop down list uh, to add it to a single surface. Yeah. Maybe we will also add this as a possibility to make yeah. a kind of. Uh, it's also an, a nice wish list thing uh, to, to hold down a button and then you have just this one surface. Uh, at the moment, this feature is not available. Um, the new way of displaying of ray tracing materials are amazing. Thanks. A few of them are not too easy to use. Yes, uh, we know this is not. Not the, the easiest stuff, this, uh, this kind of options. Um, for example, the gathering, the, the, the grating, for example, the grating metal plate water materials. When red tracing is done, it looks 
very much offset. Uh, is there an is there a fix to that? Please, is the reflection rate can be changed uh, for vertex materials? It would be great. Yeah, this is not so easy because the, the 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 information on this material we have. Um, yeah, it's not something we. Well, good question. Where we have these materials uh, for for ray tracing? Is it something we we create by our own of our own creativity or? No, was we, in, because we received this from 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 this our ray tracing uh, from radiance these materials okay. and, and this was the source and um, you can adapt for yourself so this is possible <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, it, I, I'm not sure if we should go and and change it uh, for for the defaults um, yeah, yeah this, but we would like more to to have it by your own feeling uh, how much reflection it has to to set it individually. Okay, next. Uh, looks like all texture scaling is the same for the whole scene and has no connection to individual objects. For example, if we need uh, separate scaling for the same texture of floor and cube, we need to create two materials. Mm -hmm. This is correct. Mm -hmm. I'm, we have to check if it is possible to, to use the same texture twice. In two materials? In two, I ma guess. In two materials. Yes. So this is also the way so, uh, the, the the user describes. So we have to create two materials. Do so you use the same picture file as in source, and then you can have different scales. Yes, if you, I guess it's possible if you if you make this manually, but uh, mm -hmm. we have to check it if it's also possible that I click the same the same texture from the texture library twice. We will mm -hmm. check it and um, uh, um, and think about this problem. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. <laughs> Animation is a great tool as well. I have difficulty using it as a walkthrough video, mm -hmm. as it will always um, rotate clockwise, right? When I walk to the left, this makes it very... Okay, you are right. This is uh, the handling of this animation tool. It's uh, sometimes a little bit difficult. Mm -hmm. And um, we also, if we read now su such a question or such a request, we will try to maybe to to make the work on this tool a little bit more smooth mm -hmm. but uh, but if you turn the the, the camera position uh, to the to the center of your scene it's uh, it's looks on both sides uh, at least from from my experience this should work it's not automatically rotate the camera the camera is respected what you set as in viewing perspective Okay, um, not a question, but I would use the animation tool more uh, if it wasn't so hard to use. Yes, it gets the same. Thanks for the thanks for the feedback. Thanks for the feedback. There are still <laughs> some users out there <laughs> for this. How can I calculate just one specific evaluation area? Um, the moment it is not possible. You can only calculate scene by scene. Uh, it only also if you have evaluation areas. Um, but it is an interesting point, maybe as an estimation, just to make a calculation inside of one evaluation area, just to estimate mm -hmm. what happens in, in this area if I have multiple mm -hmm. evaluation areas in my scenes to speed in, up in, my calculation. In a complex scene, that you click on the on the surface and say, just make me direct, indirect, whatever part on this. <laughs> <laughs> we have, um, yeah. It's an interesting yeah. thing, mm -hmm. to, thing to think about this. Especially in complex outdoor stuff. Yeah. Um, this uh, this is the questions uh, to, to rotate textures. Um, yeah. This is this is mm. one of the points we have to optimize. Yeah. Could you please show step by step how to put the yes. camera? Okay. Sorry, it's uh, we have not the time to do it's it this. again. But uh, the camera you have. This is the situation you you put on the on this time track. Uh, if you look mm -hmm. in this direction, it will be this direction. If you look to the other position, then it will be the other direction. And uh, it's uh, it's it's theoretically possible to to rotate the camera afterwards, but this is not really nice uh, to handle. We are aware of this. That it's not 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 nice. Um, oh, this is this is nice. This is uh, uh, Maurizio. Um, and this is, this is also the guy where we have this um, renderings uh, from. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, good that you that you're here and that you have seen this, and and also thanks for your greetings from from Italy. 
So Maurizio is one of the of the guys who who really can do fancy stuff with Relux. Um, this is uh, really delighting and really great uh, what what is possible uh, with this rendering and visualization options. Yeah. Um, okay. Maybe, we, maybe last question because we are way okay. Time. We have uh, from from Anna. We have uh, so she gives us the feedback. She wants to use this animation tool and she wants to have some support. Um, we will. Um, Ask our our, our um, colleagues from from the support team maybe to make a, a short video for uh, the animation tool or yeah. the, the, yeah. uh, uh, to make a step through for this tool. Yeah, I, I count three users uh, in this question list uh, who wants to have it. So yeah, okay. Thanks for this. Can you show me how to do a dome? This is um, no. a little bit <laughs> not here in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> this was in the last in the last um, in the last possibilities how to create 3D objects and you can make a doom. Take a look to this um, to our possibilities about the Boolean objects. This mm -hmm. gives you the possibility to create a doom and, and make a cube, cube, sphere, sphere, substract. substract, and then you will have a kind of doom. Oh, this is a video tutorial for animation. Ah, okay. Uh, there is the animation for 3D objects. Yeah, there is an, there's an, an, an video on our website, uh, relux.com. We have a section uh, tutorials, uh, and there is a video how to create 3D objects. And there, uh, the dome is easily possible with Relux. Um, uh, it's easy to do. And uh, before we fade out, if the time is really running, uh, I have to uh, I have to to tell you uh, that we have Black Friday. Uh, uh, in, in large parts of Europe. Um, and in Black Friday, we have a special offer. If you like uh, this, uh, this, this trainings or the seminars uh, of Relux, of course, this fun with Relux is free, but we have just uh, half an hour or something to, to show you things. Uh, with, with this uh, code, uh, you can get self-study courses, 70% uh, off. This is a lot. Uh, if, you, if you already want to have a look into some uh, really extended courses, not just half an hour, you have a uh, really a lot of more content in the self-study courses. This also takes a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, with this code, uh, you can really save money if you interested. This is Black Friday and to the 28th of November, you have the option to use this code. Okay, enough of commercials. Um, thanks, much for, uh, thanks much for watching. Uh, our next episode is on the 15th of September. So the last episode for this year, and this is about working with floors. So we have also floor options in Relux, and we want to show you what is possible uh, in terms of floors. Okay, nice to see you. Yeah. And we're looking forward that you're coming again next time. Okay, yep. bye. bye.